uh, Lowell Cohn, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. In the third quarter, you really went off. When you go off like that, why does it happen? And I know you're going to say the shots begin to fall. So I'm asking, why did the shots begin to fall? Steph is going to Steph, all right? He's going to Steph, Steph, right? Yeah. Uh, is it that you're, you're, you're feeling it? Do you go into another zone? What happens at that time? Uh, we just, uh, it's all about our ball movement. And the way that they've been defending, you know, it's hard to kind of get a rhythm if you don't move the ball and don't play with aggression and decisiveness. And I think we were able to do that. We set, we set great screens. We moved the ball from side to side. And, you know, when I get open shots, that's what's, that's the game plan. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to make them, but we, uh, we didn't have to force anything. And so that was uh, – that was our brand of basketball. Rachel Nichols from ESPN. Steph, can you describe exactly what that elbow looks like right now? And also whether as you're leaping over the row of people, at what point did you think, maybe this isn't such a good idea? <laughs> yeah, the uh, only reason I dove was because I saw, I don't know if it was Sean or Andre, I can't remember which one it was at the top of the key. So I figured if I could get my hand on it and sling it to him, he'd have a wide open layup. Um, the, Obviously, one step too many and went over. So, thankfully, I came out of it all right. The elbow is fine. It's, it, feels like, it looks like it has a tennis ball on top of it, but um doesn't affect range of motion or anything. It's just, you know, just some pain. So, I'll be all right. Did they say whether you have to get it drained? <clears throat> uh, something I have to just pay attention to the next, well, 48 hours until uh, until we leave for OKC. Um, if the swelling goes down, then I, I should be all right. But um, I think that's kind of not as invasive a, a procedure if necessary. So uh, either way, I'll be fine. Scott Howard Cooper from NBA TV on the aisle on your left. Steph, you, you gave Serge Ibaka a quick head fake as he came running by. You hit the three. What would you say to him after? Absolutely nothing. Steph, what did you hit with your elbow? Do you, do you know? Did you hit a person? Did, did, did you hit the ground? Uh, I think there's that uh, kind of metal first row kind of uh, platform. Um, I missed the first row and then didn't get quite all the way to the to the uh, that next that next row. So um, thankfully, I don't I, don't, I haven't seen any video or anything, so I don't know how much the fans helped me have a soft landing. I don't think they did not at all. Yeah. So. Uh. <laughs> But, but, caught him. <laughs> but, and Steph, I'm sorry. Before the right before the big flurry in third quarter, you, you fell down. Looked like you wanted a foul call. Didn't get it. We're pretty upset. Is that kind of what led bled over to to what happened next? Did you get a little fired up? In, I actually hit my elbow again. Yep. So I was just yeah frustrated by that. I mean, obviously I want a foul call, but um, I slid and did the same thing. So. Um, it's kind of, you know, probably any player, when you get an injury or something happens, it's usually a magnet for another hit and another bang, and that's that was very true tonight. Jeff Ferrado, Barry, News Group. Festus, uh, the bench, I think, contributed just 16 points on Monday, and you guys had 50 tonight. Can you talk about sort of how motivated you guys were to, to support the starters a little bit more than a couple of nights ago? What got into you? And also, Steph, can you talk about what the bench did for you guys tonight? Um, game one was definitely not our um, <clears throat> game one was not our best game. Uh, we came in with a better focus tonight. The bench did. I mean, Andre was big for us tonight defensively, especially on KD. And um, you know, most spaces he's gonna do what he does, more buckets. So uh, the bench, the bench was huge for us. Barbosa, Sean, everybody came in. They contributed. You know, even when I got in foul trouble, Bose was in foul trouble as well, and uh, Barajal came in. You know, in the first quarter. So uh, everybody contributed tonight. Uh, it's a whole total team effort and better focus than we had game one. And I would just hope to continue that focus. <clears throat> Steph, Brian Brinkley, KFOR, Oklahoma City. Talk about your defense. Did you feel like it was more active tonight? Uh, they didn't have anyone in double figures besides KD and Russ, and you created a lot of turnovers tonight as well. I think Draymond talked about last game. I mean, everybody not named KD and Russ had a, a pretty you know, solid impact on the game in game one, which was the difference. And... We know our, our our schemes and how we're going to face you know those two guys with how much they have the ball in their hands and how much um, we have to make those reads and those decisions. But we were just on a string. I think the the entire game we had 
one slip up in the second quarter where we gave up too many transition you know points off turnovers and and not communicating in, in transition in those situations but in the half court offense our our defense was pretty good just trying to force them into tough shots um staying in front of them you know fess is the big guys challenging them at the at the rim and and getting rebounds which if you don't give them second chance opportunities we hope that we can uh control the, you know that end of the floor Steph, thank you from the World Journal. After game one, you said it gave an opportunity to come back. Uh, how did you guys do this? Because, you know, you scored 17 points in the third quarter. I mean, the only, only challenge and opportunity we have is the one right in front of us. So after game one, we were obviously disappointed. But we knew the, you know, the chance for us to leave Oracle, go to Oklahoma City with a 1-1 split was – was right there, and we you know, had to go out and take the game, and uh, we were able to execute that tonight. The same mentality, like it is every playoff series every year. You know, every game is different. So, game three is going to be another, you know, just dog fight that we have to be ready for from the jump, it's especially in a um, an environment like like they have down at OKC. So, we'll be ready. Um, I like where our focus is, and we just have to go out and and. You know, play hard and play with uh, that same kind of spirit we did tonight.